Hey, cats and chicks, it's Slickback Rocker here. And today, I'm going to give you some helpful tips on how to start your own greaser rockabilly club. You dig? So without further ado, strap yourselves in. And let's get into these tips, shall we? Alright, so, first things first. I want to mention real quick. Alright? I was in a club before. I used to be in a, greaser rock, in a greaser club. The club no longer exists, but I was in one. All right, I just thought I'd put that out there. I was in a greaser club, or I used to be. Club's no longer a thing anymore, all right? Things kind of fell down, you know, ever since the leader of that club left, things fell down, all right? That's no, no longer exist. Anyways, just thought I'd put that out there. Let's get into today's topic of how to start your own greaser rockabilly club. Let's get started with the first thing that you want to have in a club. It's one of the biggest things to have in a club. And it's one of the most important ones. Have a set of rules in a club. All right. Yeah, you need some rules in a club. If you're going to start any club whatsoever, it doesn't have to be Greaser or Rockabilly related. It could be any club in general. Whatever club you're starting you need to have a set of rules and boundaries in that club that you're going to start. Because if there's no rules in the club, nothing's going to stay together. All right? It's going to fall down. All right? Nothing's going to stay together if there are no rules in the club. So one of the main things you got to remember when you're starting a club is have a good set of rules. Now, that's for you to decide and not me. All right? Because if you're watching this and you want to start a club, this is what this is for. For you. So, have a good set of rules, keep that in mind, think about some rules to have for the club, and go with it, alright? Just think about that when you're starting a Rockabilly Greaser Club. Have a good set of rules. Alright, next thing I want to talk about for starting a Greaser Rockabilly Club is having good people in that club when you bring them in, alright? If you're starting a club, you need to have at least... From what I've experienced, some good people in the club, all right? People you know, people you can trust, people who will listen and who will, you know, agree, disagree, talk with the club members. Those are the type of people you want to have in the club. People that will listen, talk with other people in the club and, you know, communicate and all that stuff. Those are the type of people you want to have in the club, all right? Those people that will... Do those type of things in the club. Alright. People that will. Um, you know. Fuck where am I going with this. You get the idea. Alright. Have some good people in the club. You get the idea. Alright. Next thing I'm going to bring up. Is. Have a good leader for the club, all right? You need to have a good leader in the club, all right? If you don't have a good leader, kind of like with the rules, if there's no one leading the club, the club is not going to go anywhere, all right? You need a leader for the club, a person who's going to not only lead the club, but, you know, agree, suggest things for the other club members and the club in general, Okay? You need someone to do those things, all right? Now, no matter who that is, you need someone to do that if you're going to start a club. You need somebody who's a born leader and who will go out there and tell you what he thinks, be open-minded about things. That's the type of person you want for a leader, someone who's open-minded and who will talk to the club members to see what their opinions are and all that other stuff. That's the type of person you want leading your club, all right? You don't want somebody who doesn't fucking know what he's doing and, you know, leaves the club to complete shit. No, you don't want that. You want someone who knows what the fuck he's doing, all right? Agrees, disagrees, all that stuff put into one person. That's who you want leading your club. You want a good leader for the club, all right? All right, next thing that I want to mention about starting a club is... When you're starting a club, a Greaser Rockabilly club, or any club, I guess, for that matter, we could put it as, all right? 
make sure the club is related to what you want the club to be. All right. So for instance, we're on the topic of greaser clubs. Make sure that when you're starting the club, whoever's starting it and inviting people, that it is a greaser related club. All right. Make sure it's that, you know, make sure the people in it are greasers or rockabillies. Make sure it's got that type of stuff in it. All right. Don't start a club and then have random people joining it to call yourself a club. That makes literally no fucking sense. All right. Make sure the club is related to what you want the club to be. And make sure the people who are going to be in the club are related to that type of thing that you want the club to be as well. All right. And that could be with anything. It doesn't even have to be with making a grease or a rockabilly club. It could be with anything. All right. Whether it's a football club or whatever, you know, make sure people on there are football players or love football. All right. Makes just makes sense. You know, or whether you're, um, fuck, I don't know. Whether you're, I don't know, man, in a motorcycle or starting a motorcycle club or a biker club, maybe, you know, make sure people in there are bikers or are related to being a biker. Same thing goes for here. If you're starting a greaser club, make sure the people are greasers or are wanting to start to become greasers. You understand? That's what you want. All right. You want people who are already doing this or are just starting out doing this in your club. All right. So if that way, if they're starting to just now do this, some people can teach them along the way of what to do, what not to do, all that stuff. That's what you want in your club for the people. All right. Make sure that's going on. All right. Last thing I want to cover here um, is try to keep the club at a minimum, all right? Don't just add every person that you know in the club, all right? Make sure the club is at a decent amount, all right? Because if there's one thing I know, not even just for clubs, like group chats that I get in like all the time, there's a ton of people in there and they talk and they put their opinions out there and it turns into drama and this and that and, you know, it's just less stuff to deal with, all right? So if I were you guys who are starting a club, make sure the club is at a minimum. Don't add too many fucking people in there, all right? You can do what you want if you're going to do it anyway. I'm letting you know now, if you add a lot of people in that club, shit is going to get out of hand soon. All right, with people starting drama, starting fights, you know, sometimes even talking shit to people in there. Like, that's not what you want in your club. You want people to, for, for one, be at a minimum, and for two, you just don't want it, all right? It's not something you want to deal with, all right? No one wants to deal with drama, but it happens. It's life. What are you, what are you going to do about it, right? It's life. Deal with drama all the time, but yeah. Anyways, that is my list on how to start a proper greaser rockabilly related club. All right. Um, for any of you who are going to start doing those things, this video was for you. Yeah. All right. So yeah, thank y'all for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. I will see y'all guys next time. Peace.